Hello everyone, welcome to Simon Tools again. In front of me here is the Ford Territory 2005. The Ford Territory 2005, this is another Australian car make. Back in the day when it came out, this, this is the best. Many, they stay with like the best car of the year, many years. This is a Ford Territory gear. It's uh, been uh, so many years been the best car in Australia. One thing I like about this Ford still, the T3, is the four-wheel drive. But when you drive it, you feel like the sedan, sedan car. That's why I like this one. For handling, freeway comforts, back in the day, this one, good, really good. Uh, the gas socks are nearly gone. I have to get something to put on. The gas is gone. My magic stick. Okay. Put it down somewhere in uh, metal here. Somewhere down here. Lift that up. Okay. Okay, down here. Safety. Okay, today the customer tell me they want to service the car. So, uh, for holiday traveling long distance and he was concerned about the smell from the brakes but I just find out there is some oil leak all the way there into to the back and drop it down where the extractor you know the cat kind of currently can convert it down there so that's where the smell from so maybe when they come back we have to see the oil oil along the rocker cover so we have to check the seal on this one replace all the oil seal and uh, more likely more leak from this model Falcon BA BF AU um, the same they uh, have a problem with the yeah the oil from the steel power steering box normally this house will leak as well so the oil they leak everywhere underneath there so, but it's still all right. It's not that much bad. Still all right. We open up, we still can see some pressure in there. So that means the oil still not using much. So it's very little tiny leak on the power steering. So all we do today is uh, for them, for a long distance, we got to replace the near full service air filter, with air filter, new one. It's getting dirty as well. Getting plugged, see? Get dirty very quickly. And um, my concern about the belt, the belts will have the grooves you know, cracking here, so we will we, we replace the belt. And uh, the pulley, of course, one of these tension the pulley start making noise, and it's by plastic. You remember back in the BF I talked about, i going to replace that one into steel if I could. And this one as well, we may get the steel one as well. So, all this is. Uh, plastic and start making noise so we have to do today is full service new oil new belt and two tens eyeler and um, tens and pulleys so make it safety for them for traveling to Melbourne so they were planning to go to Melbourne for holiday so I done the brake last time the tires all tires still good so that's all we have to do and there can be safety go to Melbourne because they, um, I can see the start to make noise from the pulleys here. So I have to order some parts and replace. What I try now to do is remove the belt. So what I have to do is put this, put it down. it down and release the belt release the belt and then we can take out from there easy the this car very easy just one dry belt control the whole car that's it now we take it out put this one away we'll put it back later
Okay, we need number 10. So this is the old belt we're talking about. See the crack there? See this one? Not last long. It start getting old, that's why. This is a crack. The side up to show you, you have to start to replace, okay? Waiting for parts to turn up. We drain the oil. So this one, more simple than the European car. So you need to step number 16. Technique number 16. Go in here and you can open it out. See, number 16. That way. Easily. And then uh, we can turn it out as long as you want. So let's all the oil out and wait for part coming. Take out the oil filter, air filter, everything. And uh, we go up to the top, we check the water level. Make sure to check the water. See the oil, the water is good or not. If you see the creamy water, that will be the sign of the transmission oil go inside the radiator. So beware of that as well. So we better check the water every now and then, just in case the uh, transmission oil. You know, the, sometimes sometimes the uh, radiator crack inside, and the oil will go into the radiator. So if it that happen, we have to replace the radiator. So now we're waiting for the oil to come in. So we come up here. We check the water from here. From here, if you see any creamy, that's the bad side, okay? So, this one, it's all right, still good. So, they, see this one? Oh, good. So, that's all we have to worry. So, the water level is still here. So, that means this car not using water through the engine. So, that's a good sign. So, that's it. We're waiting for the pop to turn up. New belt, oil filter. And the pulleys. So I check them. And this is the one I want. So I'm gonna replace in here. Still, see? Ooh, number 13, shock it. See? Take it out. So this is original one, see? Still one. Put it on, doesn't matter what side because the thickness is all the same. Go in there. See this one, I um, just gave him the part number. You remember, like I said to you before, EP141, and you can fit them all on. Here we go. Perfect, no noise at all. And this one, we got this one, just leave it like this, doesn't matter what side. See this one? Got in like that, like that in, and go straight into the car. Okay, go straight in here. First of all, by hand, and then tie them in by Richard, and done. Okay, all in place. All we do is just put the belt back on, and then we put the oil back in. It was in place now. How do we get out? How we put it back on? Okay, simple. Sorry, I can't hold my camera, so I can show you that much, but I have. mostly everyone know how to do it. Mostly everyone know how to do it. Okay. Okay, go like that, as strong as you could. Put the belt in the grooves. Make sure it's on the grooves. Okay, let go. Okay, it's on now. Once everything on, you have to check the grooves here, the grooves there, the grooves there at the bottom one, and the grooves there are just online before you start. If it's out of the grooves, you start, this one will be gone, okay? So everything on place now, so um, I'm gonna put a new oil on, air filters was on, and done. Ready to uh, traveling. Put the oil out and check the oil level. So this car, it used nearly like 6.8 liters but you pull it out like this you only got maximum like about three and a half liters here 
That's all we get out of this car. So you know that this engine start using oil. So like I said, we start to put some um, stop smoke or reseal bottle in to make the oil stop leak coming out from the same seal valves. We're gonna put some oil on. We can put uh, with a new filter. You can put like seven liters straight in, or this bottle in. This bottle is seven liters, so you can put them all in. Okay, or better test with the dipstick and uh, see how it go. But for me, I put seven liter, 200 mil over. It wouldn't hurt. Okay, now I check my dipstick oil, pull it out, wait for 10 to 20 seconds before I put them in and test. You read this sign, see from this groovy part here, they say okay. See, I got right in the mark here, right there. So that means good, it's enough, but uh, for me, it's only got 200 mil left, so I put them all in. Now I put everything back and start up the engine. See how we go. Start it up. See how it go. See how quiet it is. Now you can't hear nothing at all. No more vibration from that broken bearing affect to the engine now. You feel very quiet. Super quiet. No more noise too before it's running on low oil. It makes some noise. Now all good. So that's it guys. That's how you do big service for this car before traveling to uh, Melbourne for holiday. and everything all in the car and start the car it runs so quiet a little bit smoke because I spilled out a bit of oil out there don't worry I spray the greaser on and uh, that's how they create the smoke but anyway no trouble okay now we're gonna put the bonnet down and uh, we're gonna put the bonnets down and uh, we go for a drive see how it's like and uh, how you feel how comfortable you feel? Oh my god, this guy. Okay, let's go for a drive, hi. Leg rock and rolls. Seat belt blaze. Put on the gear, handbrake down. Ready to go. Very good actually. Turn down the fan control. Grinding before I thought this was the um, engine mouth, but now the grinding noise were gone, so very stable. Feel like new air, new new car. Feel like new car. Very nice. So that's it, guys. That's how you. Uh, do big service before long travel 
especially uh, Falcon Barra engine, any Barra engine, any Barra engine, you should uh, check the belt, the drive belt, the um, tensioner belt, drive, and uh, if they make noise, please put the new one on. And if you can, ask them to get the metal one. They last longer and they're stronger. So that will be more safety for you traveling on the long distance. All done. Now I'm gonna go home. Put the car there. Trouble I concerned about when I try to test this one, turn off the fan. And uh, this control here, the whole unit here, not working. See the fans all the way on and all the climate control here, they go in one pieces. I rang him and asked him, he said this one sometimes works, sometimes don't. So I tested, tried it, not going on. So the best way we have to go is uh, go to records and grab another one of them, put on. It should work. It should control your control your air conditioning, climate control, everything. Other way you see the fan on all the time. See? Okay, and um, we get this one replaced and uh, everything should be work fine. Well, I better go and get some parts now. Thank you for watching guys. And uh, if you have any question, please comment down below. Please watch and subscribe and like for the next video. And uh, I will see you there. Thank you.